I always fun to have you on the show. It's even better when you bring me my own snuggie. Pajamas. Let's stay in them all day. I wondered if you do because, you know, you do morning radio. I know. So. Well, I could, but no, I, I do. You, I tend, you, you have know. to wear your real clothes. I know. Real clothes. <laughs> I have to play grown up. But today, not so much because we are doing a drive, the Pajama Project, for kids in the Tri-Cities who don't have pajamas. Which you were saying, you've done some research, and this was really surprising to me, but there are a lot of kids that just, pajamas is kind of that luxury. Yeah, it's okay. homeless, homeless children, children who may go from family member to family member, children who may have a parent who is incarcerated, the foster system, either on a very temporary basis or a longer term basis, they don't have pajamas. They're going to bed in the same clothes they wore to school that day and having mm -hmm. to go up usually in the same clothes for the next day. And that's just, that sends them on the wrong foot just for the day. And it's not that comfort, that nurturing that we know. They don't know the warmth, the pajamas, the bedtime story. They're not used to that bedtime ritual. So we want to give a little piece of that to them by bringing pajamas. And you are collecting through the month of January. The entire month of January. So if a church, an organization would like to get involved, our goal is 1,200 pair of pajamas. And we could use even more, but 1,200 pair. Um, church organization, like I said, schools are welcome to do this. Uh, but we are going to be, hopefully, Sorry, kids, I'm wishing for no snow on Friday, <laughs> but we're going to be... you're going to hang out at the movie theater. Yeah, we're going to be at the Pinnacle in our pajamas. Oh. My co-host, who is still back at the station in his pajamas. But we're going to be at the Marquee Cinemas at the Pinnacle Friday night from 5 to 7. If you bring a brand new pair of pajamas from infant all the way up to adult sizes, you will get some free popcorn, so maybe going to the movies and they'll even let you in if you're wearing pajamas. You could wear your pajamas to the movie. How much fun would that be because they have those fun chairs that recline? How cool would that be? How yeah. cool would that in be? In your pajamas? I know. <gasps> Love it. Are you going to go to the uh, mall at Johnson City Absolutely. in your pajamas Absolutely. So if, if Can we shop in our pajamas? Or buy pajamas while Actually, you're there. a lot of people shop in their pajamas anyway. Yeah, right? we'll also be at the Johnson City Mall January 23rd from 4 to 6. We're going to be right there at the upstairs entrance. We're Charming Charlie, J.C. Penny, oh, okay. right inside that entrance there so you can bring your pajamas and shop for pajamas. And you're looking for pajamas of all sizes. All sizes, infant through adult sizes. So a lot of people, we hear pajamas for kids. We think um, usually small children, toddler babies, size, the cute yeah. size, but babies all the way up to teenagers. So there are some 17, 18 year olds who don't have pajamas as well. So mm. everything from those infant onesies all the way up to adult sizes. And is there anything more fun to shop for than pajamas. I think not. And let's let's just face it, Amy, we like to shop. They're all on sale right now. They, I was going to say, too, you can get really good deals. Mm -hmm. And that's just one of those things. I mean, I, I love whether it's Christmas Eve and getting a new pair of pajamas mm -hmm. or whether it's for Easter morning or there's just something special about getting into that new pair of pajamas. Yeah, so um, if you can't make it to the Pinnacle or if you can't make it to the mall, you can go on the website to wcqr.org, reach out Tri-Cities, Got my little bracelet here. Okay. We'll be handing these out. Reach out Tri-City. So year long, we're doing things all throughout the Tri-Cities, but January is the pajama project. If you want to get involved, you can find out more there. I love it. All mm -hmm. right, 1,200 pairs of pajamas by the end of January for kids here in the Tri-Cities that need them. What an awesome project. There's the website for more information. And don't forget, all from infant to adult sizes are requested if you can go out and buy some or start a little project in your church, like Rhonda said. And Rhonda, thanks so much for coming on the thank show. Thank you, and thanks for snuggling up with me this morning. Oh, it's always so fun to snuggle.